As a city commissioner, one of the biggest calls and concerns we get and complaints from citizens is the mosquitoes in the summertime and the spring. Two years ago, we had all these hurricanes coming up from the um, Caribbean, and they brought these mosquitoes with them that were just big as golf balls, these tiger mosquitoes, and they were just eating everybody up. Before that, we had had a couple of horses to get West Nile virus that I'd read about in the news, and I started researching and looking into what the West Nile virus was, and I discovered that it was carried by mosquitoes. One of her instructors had some fish in the watering trough, and she says, what is that for? And she said, it's so they can eat the, the mosquito larva. And then this kind of, it just kind of escalated from that. When I found out about people getting West Nile, I was like, this is not just about horses, this is affecting you know, our entire community. So I got together with my 4-H extension agent and we went over some things and contacted a few public officials and they said that we could go start putting minnows in ditches and other creeks and things like that, any standing water that we had in the town. And so we started that as a 4-H project. Ashley's Minnow Project addresses a real need in our community. We live in a part of the country that gets a lot of rain, and with that rain comes the problem of mosquitoes. The fact that uh, it's so simple that a, a minnow will eat a mosquito larva, it uh, uh, seems like some of us adults should have come up with that, shouldn't we? It's just really great to see the community response to the project. I've had many people come up to me and asked me about the project and asked how they could get minnows and where all they could place them. Most people saw the problem but didn't see a possible solution. Ashley was unique in the fact that she saw a solution. She knew there was a way to address the problem. The idea of the uh, fathead minnows taking the sting out of the mosquitoes is a, is a, was a super idea and it was unique. It was unique. Who would have thought? Uh, someone her age and with her experience would have been able to uh, come up with such a unique idea. 4-H after school is a wonderful opportunity for young people. Ashley did not know the leader that she could become. Uh, she needed to develop that self-confidence. So in the early years in 4-H, she didn't know what a great speaker and what a great leader that she could become. So through her opportunities in 4-H and the experiences she had, she began to develop that self-confidence with practice and with setting goals and with tremendous work. Well, my first experiences in 4-H weren't that great. I was really shy and uncomfortable. And like my first speech that I did, I made everybody get out of the room. And there was only one person in there with me, and I really didn't want to do it. And you know, tried, I was like, I'm sick, I'm sick, can't do it. And then now I have to get up in front of up to a thousand people and speak. So, and I could have never done that without 4-H. Uh, well, we're very proud of her. She is, um, and she's certainly a different person through 4-H than what she would have been without 4-H. And it's just like with her speaking skills, her leadership skills, citizenship. She wants to make a difference in her world and she's found a way through 4-H to do that. I, I was going to say, I, I guess I'm the most proud of her um, citizenship skills. Um, all the work that she's done in the community and helped others and, and work to get other people involved in the community to help. You know, I don't know how you can spend money any better than you can on, on uh, giving young people the opportunity to, uh, to mature and to progress and to, uh, to learn life skills and, and, uh, and, and uh, leadership, you know. Support from donors like J.C. Penney makes all the difference in the world in the kinds of opportunities that can be offered in the after school program and to reach a multitude of young people. It's absolutely life altering. It's been one of the greatest things in my life to be able to, to do this and to see the effects that in the community and see all the positive feedback and how everybody seems to be learning from it. And I'll have little fifth graders come up to me and, you know, say something about maybe the Meadow Project or something. And I've, I've seen a couple of people, you know, go off and tell their friends, oh, did you know that Meadows did this and Mosquitoes did this? And they'll tell each other about it. And it's just so great to see the information spread and people to become aware. It's just kind of interesting that I go back one more time, the fat head men are taking the sting out of Mosquitoes. That's just unique. And you know, the motto was working and doing, and Ashley does this every day of her life, working and doing through 4-H. 4-H does focus on allowing young people to have their hands on the projects, not just to hear it or to see someone else doing it,
but to learn themselves by actually doing the project work themselves. And that's really important because somebody can tell you something a hundred times and you'll never know until you do it. And like the feeling that you get from giving something to somebody or making somebody happy, it's just something that you just can't think about unless you see it and it actually happens to you.